Yeah, all right. I'm David Chaston with 90 at 9, brought to you by interest.co.nz. This is where you get everything you need to know in 90 seconds at 9 o'clock with news China has not announced the new stimulus that investors were expecting, rather just rehashing existing measures. Equity and commodity markets reacted negatively to the disappointment. But first, the American Retail Red Book Index rose marginally last week to be 5.4% above year-ago levels and well ahead of inflation. And U.S. small business optimism rose slightly in September, even though uncertainty levels remained high as the U.S. election gets closer, less than a month away now. Meanwhile, the, an investor optimism index rose to a 19-month high, but again, the change was small there. And the U.S. trade deficit in both goods and services fell in August from July in a better-than-expected result, driven by stronger exports that were 5.2 per cent higher than a year ago. In China, the closely anticipated National Development and Reform Commission briefing was a damp squib, essentially not announcing anything new in the way of economic support for their economy. All they did was front-load existing measures. A rally in Chinese stocks on their return from a week-long holiday fizzled quickly as traders questioned Beijing's resolve to add more effective stimulus. After rising strongly in anticipation over the past week or so, the iron ore price sank sharply after this briefing. And China said it'll impose tariffs on European brandy in retaliation for EU tariffs on EVs. In Australia, business sentiment came in less negative in September, and the consumer mood is improving too. Australia's Westpac Melbourne Institute consumer sentiment jumped to a twenty two-and-a-half-year high in October, a sharp turnaround from the fall in September. The US Treasury 10-year yield is now just on 4.03% and up one basis point from yesterday. But the price of gold will start today at $2,611 and down $33 from this time yesterday. And oil prices are also sharply lower, down $4 at just on $73 a barrel in the US, while the international Brent price is now just down to $76.50 a barrel. And the Kiwi dollar starts today at 61.2 US cents and unchanged from this time yesterday. But against the Aussie, we're up 20 basis points at 90.8 Australian cents. Against the Euro, we're still at 55.8 Euro cents. That all means our trade weighted index starts today just on 69.4 and up a minor 10 basis points from yesterday. Join us at 2 o'clock this afternoon when we'll have full coverage of today's monetary policy review and the expected rate cut to the OCR. You can get more news affecting the economy in New Zealand from interest.co.nz. Kia ora, I'm David Chaston, and we'll do this again tomorrow.